Uh, is this Chris? Uh, yes, sir. How you doing? I'm doing really good, Mr. Henry. It's, uh, it's a real pleasure to uh, be on your program. Um, thanks for taking my call. No problem. Um, I wanted to um, ask you a question that's sort of about SAS. Um, it's about what? I'm sorry. Uh, it's kind of a, it's a question about SAS, but I don't want to be you know do nothing and then we'll get you know the, uh, the SEC you know all, all over you. It's about sex, did you say? Yeah, it's, it's basically a question about sex and sexuality. I just want to ask you about it. Go ahead. Um, basically, um, this is a holiday season, and I've been invited to a lot of parties with the woman that I'm seeing right now. I don't, you know, kind of, I, I see about three, four different women, but this one woman that I'm seeing, she's invited me to some holiday parties. So, um, and right now, I'm sort of going along with her because we have begun having sex. Uh, and you know, she enjoys my sexuality and everything. Okay. Um, so I want to ask you a question about that. Well, go ahead, but I'm, it can't be too graphic. No, no, it's not. It's just we go to a lot of holiday parties and they serve eggnog, and I wanted to know because I've been sort of I'm like kind of building up to it with her, and I'm not really. She's asked me how come you don't want to drink eggnog, and I said I got to kind of build up to it. And Why? What you mean eggnog? Yeah. Why? Well, because when you take a swig of eggnog, you have like a eggnog on your upper lip, and it may appear to be gay. And I was just... You're wondering what, sir? I well, just it doesn't look bad. <laughs> because you've got eggnog on your lip. Well, yeah. No, man. Here, here's an idea. Use a napkin. Well, that's true. You can, but... In the moment before you take the swig of the nog, and then and then uh, get the napkin, you've got nog lip. <laughs> well, what's so funny? I, I, what do you mean nog lip? It's just. Uh, no, man, I'd use a napkin. Well, what about between the time you get the napkin and everything? All right, so you take a swig of eggnog. Now you've got this eggnog on your lip, and what do you think you look like? Well, three guesses, man. First two don't count. I'm walking around with nog lip, and somebody's going to go, hey, you know, if the, if the guy is of the, of the gayness, he's going to go, okay, thank, you know, I guess you're out. You know, I just... Yeah, man, I, I would use a napkin. I wouldn't worry about it. Even if I'm at a, at a, even if I'm at a party with gay people. Yes, even if you're at a party with gay people. Okay, so you think nog lip? If, yeah, it's fine. Nog lip. From uh, Hermosa Beach, California, Mr. Norton. How are you this evening? What? Oh, I'm sorry. How you doing, Phil? Good. And Chris, you wanted to talk a little bit. Well, you had a question for me, though, right? Uh, yes, sir, I did. Um, I wanted to, well, the thing that I uh, called about was uh, to tell you about that this is a uh, Christmas season film, and I want to let a lot of guys know that dog lip uh, can be uh, found this time of year, and so be sure. Now, now, nog lip, you know, you talked about nog lip last year. What is that? I'm sorry? What, what is nog lip? Uh, nog lip is a hazard that can be had at different Christmas parties and the reason why I'm talking about it is if you are seen drinking nog and there is a residual of the nog that stays attached to your lip, it looks like you might have you know, taken a you know, taken a shot off the lip and that's all I'm trying to say. Are are we talking about something sexual, sir? Uh yes sir I am. Yes sir I am. Yeah. Alright, so so why I'm walking around with nog lips, so what? Uh, there is a perception, uh, sexual perception that could happen. I just don't want no one to have no. Uh, you know, anybody's sexual orientation, their own business. I mean, I'm not trying to say what your sex, what your sex is about. It's all is all your business. But I have personally kind of got alerted onto that because I was at a Christmas party two years ago, and a friend of mine did get nogged, and he was not able to. Uh, he he didn't come out for. He didn't come out of his, his apartment for a while uh, because, you know, one of the girls at the party saw the nog and was uh, very, you know, very he, he is skeptical. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, nothing, sir. Uh, 
Are you afraid if you have nog lip that you're perceived as gay? Oh, uh, yes, sir. That's correct. Yeah. All right. I, it sounds kind of childish to me. Well, sir, I don't mean it to be childish, but it is a. All right. How about a napkin? Well, that's yeah. That's why I'm calling up. I will try and remind everybody. Uh, if you are pro, if you are a heterosexual like I am. And you do have strong sexual tendency. See, because my sexuality is so strong, everyone will say, "Oh, it can't be not. It can't be Noglip. He must have taken. He must have taken a taken a direct hit." <laughs> well, I mean, I don't see what's so funny about it. Look at dude. Yeah, I, I think we can sum all this up by saying this Christmas season, keep. <laughs> Taking a direct hit. Oh, you know something, Mr. Henry? I, uh, no, no, no. We can so, somehow just keep a napkin handy. Uh, that's fine, but I suggest that people not drink nog. See, I, I would not drink no nog on account of that. All right, is that what this bumper sticker is? No nog? Yeah. Um, I, I don't want to put that on my website. Well, I was hoping that maybe you'd link it. No, I ain't linking anything, man. You know, uh, good luck getting your no nog bumper stickers out there. Okay, I mean, I just, you know... I mean, I don't mean to shut you down, man, but, you know, it doesn't seem like a high-priority thing. If you're worried because you didn't wipe your lip after drinking eggnog that someone's going to think you, quote, took a direct hit, uh, that is your own sexual insecurity. See, I don't, that's, I don't, I don't subscribe to that. My sexuality is very strong, but you, your image is everything. And having a knocked-out face, if your lip is knocked up, it's... All right, we'll take it under advisement. What? We'll take. Never mind. <laughs> All right, that's Chris Norton. I don't know if you joined us last year. He he was very concerned about nog lip. I I'm not. I'm sorry. And they've tried to make this now a public service announcement. Two years running. Uh, afraid not. Afraid not. One eight hundred four four nine eight six eight.